PHP for each loop simplified. So first we're going to define an array. And this array is going to be of classes, history, science, and English. After we complete that, we're going to create our for each loop. We're going to say for each classes as class. And we're simply going to echo out the class. And then we're also going to put class in front of it and then a backslash n at the end. The backslash n will create a new line. Then we'll test. And it works. So what do we do? Well, all we did was we took that array of classes, we looped through them using for each, and then we echoed. Now what's cool about for each is you can have keys and values. So we'll make the classes our keys, and then the teacher who teaches the given class our values. So English, Mr. Shakespeare, history, Mr. Abraham, and science, Mrs. Uh, Amelia Earhart. <laughs> I know I'm spelling this wrong. I can't remember how to spell Amelia Earhart. So now that we have that set up, we can go back to our for each loop and we can do classes as class to teacher. That's key to value. So the class is the key, the value is the teacher. Then we'll echo out the class is taught by the given teacher. And as soon as we echo that out, we'll retest. So check this out. English is taught by Shakespeare, History Abraham, and Science Amelia Earhart. So what else can we do with for each loops? Well, let's imagine that we had an array of students. And students are going to have the same keys as classes. English is going to have the students Avery, Johnny, Tim, and Sarah. History, or science, my bad, is going to have the students Jimmy, Alicia, and let's go, I don't know. Let's just go on to the next one. We don't need that many students for the example. History is going to have an array of students as well. Ronnie, and then we'll go George. Now, let's put history in the same order as the classes, just to keep everything simple, and add our comma at the end. So now what we're going to do is we're going to echo out a list of students. But before we can echo out a list of students, we need to turn the array of students into a stringified comma delimited list. So to do that, we're going to say students list equals students of the current class we're iterating over. And then we're going to implode it. We're going to take the array of students and we're going to make it a single string. And then for each student, they're going to have a comma with a space. This will make it a comma delimited list of students. After that, we of course need to also echo out the students list. So the class is taught by the teacher and has the following students, and then the student list. After that, we'll test. And there we go. It properly works. So guys, that is a for each loop. The last thing I want to show you is that for each loops can be created with two syntaxes. The first is the braces or brackets, and the second is a colon with a for each and then an end for each as well. We'll clean that up a little bit. The next we will test one last time and it properly works. So guys, that is for each loops in a nutshell. Separate.